Hi everyone. Uh, just wanted to give a brief explainer on the craziness going on right now in the Ohio legislature with the Supreme Court and everything happening with redistricting, because uh, it can be a bit hard to follow along if you're not checking Twitter constantly uh, like I am. And so basically the situation is that in Ohio in 2015, there was a con constitutional amendment passed by, the, by voters stating that the legislative district maps need to match roughly the proportional partisanship of the state. So about 54% Republican, 46% Democrat. Uh, but when the new maps were drawn a few months ago by a majority Republican commission, the Supreme Court found that they did not meet the proportionality requirement, sent it back to the redistricting commission to draw new maps. They drew a second set of new maps. Those maps were also found to be unconstitutional based on that requirement by the Supreme Court. So they sent it back for a third round. And in the third round, after the 10-day deadline that the Supreme Court gave the redistricting commission, the commission threw their hands in the air and said, it's impossible, we can't do it, uh, we refuse to pass new maps. Uh, so the re Republican strategy now is to go to federal courts and ask the federal courts to step in and to approve the prior maps that the Ohio Supreme Court found unconstitutional. While the Democratic side and the petitioners in the case are really pushing for fair maps still and waiting on the Ohio Supreme Court, to take some action uh, towards that end. This, uh, the Supreme Court, just for context, cannot draw the maps themselves, which would be a much simpler solution. Uh, so no one really knows what's gonna happen next. The court has threatened to hold the redistricting commission, including the governor, in contempt of court uh, if they don't respond uh, with some sort of solution. So we're all still waiting. We don't know what the district lines uh, are going to be. We don't know if or when they're going to move the primary back or if they're going to try and still hold it on May 3rd. Uh, but I did just want to give you an update on how things are going from my end. Uh, otherwise, campaign is moving along. Be I'm out in the community talking to voters about the issues uh, and trying to build support. So hope everyone is doing well.